How do you measure the fastest thing in the universe? It's too fast to simply get at a stopwatch, but somehow, 19th century French physicist Hippolyte Fizeau measured the speed of light with 5% error using an incredible experimental apparatus. And he managed to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! It's a meme, but the precision required for this experiment being performed in mid-19th century France is unbelievable. Keep in mind, light travels at around 186,000 miles per second. So what did Fizeau do? First, he needed a way to flash a light on and off very quickly. Using a distant mirror, he could return that flash of light back to where he started, but the trick is then measuring how long it took for the light to return. Fortunately, both problems, blinking the light source quickly and timing the return journey, were achievable using the same device, a rotating gear. By placing an extremely well-focused light source behind the spinning gear, that light source could essentially be turned on and off very rapidly. One tooth would block it, then the gap would let it through, then the next tooth would block it, and so on. The trouble is, for faster modulation, one needs either bigger gears, smaller teeth, or faster spin. Fizeau took advantage of the extremely precise clockwork machining that was available at the time to get a 12 centimeter gear with 720 teeth, having a gap size between the teeth of around 0.26 millimeters. Now, by turning the gear 10 times per second, using again precision weight driven clockwork, the light would turn on and off 7,200 times per second, or in other words, each flash of light was around 69 microseconds long with an equally long off time. Now, Fizeau sent that beam of light 8,633 meters to a mirror and then back. So Fizeau's goal was to adjust the speed so that by the time the light returned, it was completely blocked by the following tooth after its round trip. This then makes for a fairly easy observation. Speed up the gear until you can't see any reflected light, and make sure that increasing the speed any more doesn't ever block the light again. This second bit, that speeding up the wheel any further doesn't block the light, ensures that you aren't accidentally blocking the light by some more distant tooth. Anyway, Fizeau found that if you spin the gear at exactly 12.6 times per second, the next tooth completely blocks the light. Running the numbers, that means that it took the light 55 microseconds to traverse the 8,633 meters twice, meaning it traveled at an astounding 313,000 kilometers per second. That's just about 5% bigger than the true speed of light. Of course, making this whole experiment work is a technical feat itself. How do you focus a beam of light to fit within a fraction of a millimeter while also keeping it bright enough to be seen after traveling over 17 kilometers? The secret was precision telescopes and a very bright lamp, apparently. I mean, hell, doing that with modern optics and lasers is still a challenge, so chalk this up to the experimental ingenuity of the 19th century.